hello so uh, i've really been thinking about doing this art tour if you've been to my apartment then you know it's a lot of art going on and i love my art so let's get right into it I'm about to take y'all on a tour let's go i first got inspired to do this art tour because i actually do art tours when people come to visit for the first time i literally have them start at the door and i'm like welcome to my museum i got a little art gallery going on let me take y'all through some of these favorite pieces okay so good angle so this piece is by dante cyrus and dante came to visit came to new york city to visit this is when i was living in chinatown this is on my fire escape so this shirt is by jessica uh, and i thought it was so dope because it's in chinese it's a detroit i'm from detroit and i'm in chinatown layers okay this is why i'm currently standing on my bed right now but this angle is fire okay let me Get y'all together. These two pieces got off Instagram. These are by Brothers and Sisters. I just love the cartoon feel to it. And all of their art is black people. So obsessed with that. This is by Art of Maverick. Honestly, I've been stalking him for years. Black women, afros, bodies, voluptuous, like, it was everything so i just admired it and i was always like one day i'm gonna have this another piece of art that i want to shout out is my pillow this is from tony tone hooligan yes gonna tag him um his art is absolutely amazing he does murals like this covers entire buildings and walls oh, this piece is by fred love all of fred's work at formerly known as this is prince so beautiful with these flowers on it i got this piece when i was in chinatown as well so he i don't know he crazy because his price definitely went up now but at the time he randomly started selling prints for twenty dollars i bought four i think so one this is a beautiful piece by deborah cartwright um and i have three of these pieces they are of bloggers this was for the launch of true textures in 2015 with mazani and i just love the leaves on here and when we go into the bathroom i was trying to give a whole little vibe with that but i want to shout this out this is my vision board i did this in chinatown in 2018 it's 2020 now and i love doing vision boards however after doing this one i honestly never wanted to do one again because this one is so fire this it has so much on here that means so much to me and i really think it's a timeless piece i hope to keep it forever um it's just like really good stuff on here i might even just have a day to go through i might do a video just on this vision board because it is just fire but it's cute love it here we go want to shout out this is by ramses he wrote all of us poems one day he texts us in a group chat like everybody pick a word i'm gonna write you a poem he wrote it on his typewriter i think it's so cool i need to put a date on here my word was communication i'm a gemini so i talk too much and it's gotten me in trouble in a lot of situations and you know some people just don't like that and that's okay and i love it and that's why i'm talking to y'all right now because i love it too i'm like i need to channel this talking energy this is from sisters village it is an astrology read i don't know it's like a natal chart overview so i love my sign i love that i'm a gemini look i just said it two seconds ago um so literally it reads your sun moon and rising which mine is gemini gemini virgo which i love it i just i love myself i love being in my head i love just everything about me baby um and then it goes into your mercury venus mars jupiter which i'm not that advanced but i'm advanced enough to be interested 
I can name the planets. <laughs> so, and then it goes into this long little paragraph, which I just love reading about myself. Your sun in Gemini means you are witty, curious, and dynamic. You have a childlike energy. <laughs> That's why I be having fun up here by myself, boy. This piece was actually my first piece of artwork. My mom gave it to me when I first moved to New York City. This piece I got in Prospect Park from K Luna at K Luna on Instagram. Um, wanna shout this piece out. Got this in when I lived in Bushwick with Swoop. Found this on the street. So this was my first piece that I found on the street and I thought that this was the beginning of a new life for me, that I was gonna find amazing things on the streets of New York City and bring it home and one man's trash is another man's treasure. And this is the only thing that I've found and it's been five years now, so. We about to hit the hallway with the real gallery. Okay, that's a good little view. Good angle. I'm most proud of my hallway, so excited to get into these pieces. Um, it's Tupac, and I'm gonna get some pictures so you can see how beautiful this is. But from the concrete, who knew that a flower would grow? Okay, Harlem Rose, all them kind of songs, but damn. It's kind of straight. Tupac, I just love this. This is another one of my like celebrity pieces. So I have Prince, Tupac, TLC, a couple more. You'll see Solange, Janelle Monet. Um, yeah, we got a couple of those. So I just love this. There's glitter on here and she does some beautiful videos where she pours the glitter resin she makes it herself and this is my favorite piece of art uh this is by mr ode this uh piece this was a fashion show i did with dre so also artwork in this photo is i got styled by dre um for a fashion show that he did and <sighs> dre one of the people was like whatever you want to do I'm a hold it down POP. So he was like, Tan should be in this fashion show. I was like, you know, I do have runway experience and you know, I am a model. So I mean, look at this. So yeah, um, he stopped me for a fashion show. This was after the show. I was just kind of like sitting on the stage. So, um, Love the photo, and I asked Mr. Ode to draw it for me, and he drew it, and I'm obsessed, and yeah. Coming on down. Okay, coming on down the road. Okay, this piece I got from a flea market. It was an amazing black woman selling art, and this picture really stood out to me. She has hoops. Who are you if you don't got no hoops? Uh, her hair, yes, the hat, feminist. And also, I've always wanted to wear um, like baseball caps, snapbacks, all that. But I usually can't because uh, my hair is too big. So I just wanted to be her. But I'm about to be wearing some caps, okay? She got the lashes going. She got this little dot right here. This is like makeup goals, like blush on fleek, everything. So love sis she's adorbs okay this is another piece by fred love you fred formerly known as and first of all i love macaroni and cheese i also love this piece because it's amazing blue go blue michigan <laughs> it's great to be a michigan wolverine okay um and it's solange and actually this is covering the circuit breaker which is disturbing to look at literally when we first moved into the apartment i was like there's a photo going over this off rip. Let me see if I can show y'all. The secret bank. Lots of money. Ain't no money in there. Um, okay. There we go. Um, so Solange. Love it. Love her. Awesome. So this piece is one of the first pieces you see when you come into the apartment. Um, Janelle Monet. This is by my favorite Fred. What I love about this piece, one is Janelle Monet. She's 
gorgeous and the coolest thing about fred and when i really fell in love with this piece he used to do these crazy screen recordings um and it would be time lapse of him taking a regular photo of janelle maybe she was on the red carpet then she went he went on google and he found a man from china took these rings off of his neck put it on her face added these little circular things, put the sun behind her, added stars, gave her this amazing highlight and made her pop and go insane. And I love it. And it's amazing. Obsessed. So before we go into the bathroom, first I want to point out these pieces, which I want to shout out Layla. I totally slipped. It slipped my mind who the artist is, but I'll probably figure it out. And I will put his name here. FKA Twigs, Solange, Solange. And I just loved it. And I thought it was a little different from most of the art that I currently have. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and it's real cute. And I like this little tree I'm set up here. So yeah, that's, that's one of my faves too. All right, we about to go into the bathroom. The bathroom. I was trying to go for like a safari vibe, which is these photos. So these are uh, the other two of those images from Deborah Cartwright. Let me get in the middle. And love them, love these leaves. And this was really the basis of my whole theme in the bathroom, which is like green leaves, safari. I got like wooden stuff going on in here, green rug, everything. Okay, so that was the hallway. I'm going to take y'all through the rest of the crib real quick because there's more art. But So this piece I really love. This is by Hood Tendencies. Um, I just really love that it was Black Powerpuff Girls. And I love that they all have these different natural hair hairstyles. Um, I love things that really show the diversity of Black women. There's so many beautiful different ways to be black and we're all not the same so i mean i just love we got her with the wash and go uh her edges laid too she got her locks and they're beautiful and they got little trinkets in there and rings and then she's beautiful with her blonde hair and her puffs so i just love that so much okay continuing on so this piece, I did not find it. Um, LaMica found it on the street and she brought this big ass paint at home. This piece, um, Cyrus took this picture of us on the roof. I will say, look, this photo always reminds me of things really went south on this day. <laughs> That's when we met Dawn. If you know Dawn and you know the stories about Dawn. That's all I'm gonna say. And then this last piece is Solange. This is another piece from Fred, um, formerly known as Obsessed with His Work. I'm such a fan and I'm so excited for all of his amazing things that he continues to do. He's just like so fire. I don't understand how his mind even exists inside of his school. But Solange is swimming in ice cream. So yes, that is my art tour. Tell me what was your fave. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Shout out to you if you made it this far in the video. 